Hello and welcome guys back to another video from the Age Journal Review. And today we will be talking about the Apple Watch Series 6 and should you buy it or maybe get a Ferber Series 5 or an Apple Watch SE. So, and we also go, I'm also going to tell you my experience with my Apple Watch Series 6. So, stick around. <laughs> So first, if you did not know, the Apple Watch was unveiled in 2015 with the iPhone 6 launch. And in September of 2020 event, we got uh, the two Apple Watches. We got the new Apple Watch Series 6 and also the new Apple Watch SE, which I would really mostly recommend it, especially if you're under 20 or getting it for a child. But the Series 6 and the SE come the same design that we, and the new redesign, same design that we got with the Apple Watch Series 4 and the Apple Watch Series 5, which had the smaller bezels and came with the new 40mm size and 44mm size. And also the Series 6 comes in an aluminium casing and also comes with a stainless steel casing. Also comes with a little different colors than the normal Apple Watches. You know, they have added red and blue in the new Apple Watch series. But in my opinion, I think you should just go with the silver or the black mostly always the silver. The Apple Watch Series 6 has the S6 chip, which is a little bit faster CPU than the S5 chip that is found in the Apple Watch Series 5 and the Apple Watch SE. Series 6, because the S6 chip is a little bit more power efficient, so it just charges like a little bit faster, which could help you in some situations, especially with sleep tracking. Because the new feature that they have added watch os 8 it's not only for the series 6 is sleep tracking but the series 6 has like because it has the spo2 sensor and blood oxygen sensor so it is a little bit it will give you more data but you know there's lots of different watches and other stuff that if you really just want to track your sleep there are lots of better stuff but people don't really buy apple watches just for that they buy it for the tight integration with your iphone you know because it only really works with an iphone so if you're using an Android, it's not really going to be the best buy for you, but there are some lots of other watches which we're going to have also some reviews on it soon. On the Apple Watch, you know, you can get your messages, reply to them from WhatsApp, iMessage, emails, stuff like that. You can also call from it if it's connected to your phone, but if you don't have your phone on, if you have the cellular model, you can also call with it without having your phone next to you is a very nice feature we're also going to have a more detailed video about talking about the apple watch and how and how to make the best out of your apple watch you know any apple watch this any series se series 5 series 6 series 4 series 3 any one of them so don't forget to subscribe so you can do, so you don't miss that video and with that you can also check your calendar on it it does show you like your one week or two week plan things something like that with with it and you can also check your email with the Apple email app you can also download like Outlook something like that you can also play with music with it so if you try not to like use your phone that much it could be very helpful and let you be productive but the biggest thing about the Apple watch series 6 is the health features because there are extra features over the SE but really most of these features need to be over 20 and 22 and they don't really work in every country so this is why I would always recommend the SE especially if you're getting it for a kid you know with the new feature that it can give your child an Apple watch it and also you, without them having an iPhone just like connecting it from your phone and but don't worry they won't get any message or anything it's going to be on their Apple account and you can also monitor their callings who called them what set what did they 
do something like that also that's going to be really helpful for a parent or a small child that they don't want to really give them an iPhone so they don't like do other stuff with it but that's also a very nice feature that Apple added and you can you can do it also from the series 4 but the SE because the SE does start you know because the SE is cheaper you know it starts $2280 with the 40 millimeter normal one but this feature needs a cellular and unlike any other Apple Watch where you need to pay $100 for the cellular upgrade, the Apple Watch SE just for $50 you're gonna upgrade because they're also, there's kids so their wrists are smaller so of course you're going to get them like that 40mm model not the 44 so that's how you would the $50 extra it's just like $320 and you, they could do, they could call, they can do that like the most really things that parents wants to get their phone is really just for them to call or message for emergencies but they just stay and watch YouTube. But now, let's go a little bit more about the health features in the Apple Watch Series 6. So, the first big new sensor that we got with the Apple Watch Series 6 was the SpO2 blood oxygen sensor, which can also help you with the current situation that we're on, tell you like your blood oxygen, stuff like that, to like try to be healthy. But if you did not know, blood oxygen is taken from the fingertips, but you're wearing your Apple Watch on your wrist. So you no, know, you can put your Apple Watch on your finger, but if you're really doing that, you should really just go buy a medical one or something like that. And also Apple said that this is no replacement of any doctor but they are still trying to enhance these features all in all the sensor is pretty good if you stay still when you're measuring it as the watch wants if you don't stay still and the watch does not like you you won't get that reading trust me i tried it and there is also the ecg that we we got of course on the series 4 which as i said you need to be above 20 or 22 to use it and it does not work in every country but that you know it gives you a very very accurate like heart rate thing so if you're like older something like that you can test your heart rate with the normal heart rate sensor and with the ECG so it can give you like a good health thing but as I said this is no replacement to any doctor and Apple also says that otherwise it has a great heart sensor it is a one heck you know I think it's the second or third gen heart sensor that Apple has on their Apple watches it can also detect when your heart rate is low or high and will send you a notification it can also send you a notification when you're in a loud environment so you can go so your ears won't get damaged or you won't lose your hearing ability also it will send you a notification so that's very a very nice thing that apple has you know mostly the apple watch is really for like the health thing and if you want to be like a bit of productive and it does have a bit of some creature comforts is that you have the walkie talkie app that another if your friend family has an apple watch you can add them to walkie talkie talk to them know that that you can be as far away as you want which is very nice a very nice feature that like calling if you want to like getting two stuff in the same time just like that it's very a very easy thing it also has the workout app which has lots a lots of other lots of work workout you know you can compete your friends you can put challenges you know you have the competition against your friends closing your ring that it's very a very nice ecosystem to have with your Apple watch with your eyes and the also the colors monitor is very polished and very and in my experience using the workout app I, I would just tell Siri like start this workout start that and I was, I'm doing competitions with my friends. You can earn rewards, seeing your rings, closing your ring. It's a very nice experience with it. And checking like my email, my messages, that's very also helpful. And also, as I said, you do have Siri with it. So you can tell her like to set a reminder, set a timer, maybe call someone. You can also ask her some questions, but there are some questions that she won't be able to, be able to answer because she needs to like display them on a bigger screen. But with that, and also you can tell her like to do a workout, like start maybe a competition, something like that, and send a message that. So see, it's also a very helpful thing on your Apple Watch and you can control also your HomeKit devices with it, it's, which is a very nice feature also. But also all of these other features are really found in the Apple Watch SE like let me see it can do everything like what the Apple Watch Series 6 does but all oh, it does not have the ECG and the blood oxygen and the blood oxygen does not really give you a very accurate thing you need to stay still a lot and the ECG does not really work younger people you need to be under uh, above 20 and it does not work in every country and really I'm sure most of you 
so that I did not really talk about the always on display because I never used it on my Apple Watch. It is a nice thing like you just glimpse at it like that if you're like in a meeting or something. It does really waste your battery life a lot. And you also maybe saw I'm not talking about battery life a lot because also the battery life on the Apple Watch Series 6 is nice and you charge it at night or when, before you're sleeping or when you're doing anything else and you're not using your Apple Watch. It is nice with the battery life battery life with the always on display is around one day but without it you can get about one day one day and a half two days also so it's a very nice thing and so guys thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with a friend